and then the civilian Big Brother. I don't think there's even a summer 2018 Big Brother on mm-hmm. the contract yet mm. at the moment. So I suppose that for Endemol, it comes the show comes up for grabs, right? Mm-hmm. So anyone can bid for it. Yeah. I'm not sure how it, how it works in TV. No. Like, presumably, people, other people could outbid Channel 5 if they wanted to. Well, Channel 4 is not going to take it back. Where, where, where can it go? BBC are not going to take it. ITV? BBC. BBC. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost Bake Off. Let's bring Big Brother on board. No, but this twat going, oh, ratings have declined, declined, declined. Because of all the shit you've done to it. Because you've got well, another yeah. live feed and everything. Exactly. Well, fucking outside contact and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it is. <coughs> I feel like if they'd better looked after Big Brother. Yeah. Like, I mean, I can't say too much, but I've heard that <laughs> the way Channel 5 are handling Big Brother is not as good as it could be in terms of they could get a lot more revenue out of it if they were more savvy with how they did their advertising sales. Be a bit more savvy like Cheryl Cole. Also, people would pay for live feed. We've said this before. Yeah, but we were told that that's not the issue. It's like broadcasting laws have changed or whatever. But why can they broadcast live feed elsewhere? Yeah, it's bollocks. So what, how are we wrapping up that section? Well, Big Brother fans seem to be a little bit panicky at the moment. Like, Ben Frau has said, I don't want it on my channel. Mm. But if, let's be real, mm. if you look at Channel 5, there is no better performing show than Big Brother. Mm. When you look at, like, TV ratings plus, like, demand, on-demand viewings, mm. there's nothing that has an impact with Big Brother. They're not going to drop Big Brother if they can help it. I think the only way they're going to drop Big Brother is if it gets taken away from them from an outbidder. Mm. It could go to Sky or something like that. I ain't got a Sky. Oh, well, if you had a Torrance. <laughs> <laughs> I have, but I think if it goes to like Sky One, I think yeah. I'll have to get Sky. Yeah. Well, there you go, Sky, if you're listening. <laughs> or Now TV, I think it's got Sky on it. Yeah. Listen, I can't articulate myself. I what? bullied my dad into getting Sky yeah. way back because I wanted Big Brother Live. Oh, yeah. We didn't have Sky what, until E4? Big Brother 3. Yeah, mm. and it had um, live feed on it. I was mm. like, Dad, we really need to get Sky. Yeah. I was like, think of the football you could watch on it. Plus, I really want to watch Big Brother Live. The E4 is just on Freeview now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Look, Ben Frau, you seem like a bit of a knobhead to me. Let's all tweet Ben Frau and give him a right tell-off. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, when people found out that I was at Big Brother, yeah. and that also Lewis was there as well, LJ... Oh, was it? Did whatever. you see him? No, because he was in the queue mm. with the normal ticket holders. Yeah. And Hold he... on, didn't they delete him off? Are they re undeleted him, or was that someone else? No, I think because he can apply... Because, because tickets, tickets are handled oh, by... I see. You know, a separate company. I can't, they didn't There's nothing to do him. with Big Brother, oh. so... Big Brother did block him, but... um. Yeah, so he was in the queue and he got picked to go into the orbit. He was sat there. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing at the orbit. He was sat there, like, right behind all the evictees. He's got a beard now. Oh, yeah? He has a nice beard on him. Oof, I hate um, this. Anyway, <laughs> Big Bagger was t- telling us that we should start a Get Ben Frau Out chant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, like, I mentioned that to... Yeah. Um, someone on the yeah. inside and she was like I think you should be careful with that uh, like, why? I then I, you out. Was like, I get blacklisted mm. and then I thought well to be fair Racist. like the people amongst me who's the friends and family they don't give a fuck about the concept of Big Brother they don't know who Ben Frau is mm. and then most of the people in the audience probably don't know who he is either so mm. I just felt it was a lost cause I think let's find out Ben Frau's home address and post him some shit <laughs> <laughs> Sharon Osborne used to do <laughs> Put shit through the neighbour's letterbox. I just think it's just a dick move to like slag off your own best. The thing, thing was, I thought that he said in the past that he like wanted the live feed. I thought he didn't. I thought he said he did at one point. Hmm. To be fair, we know by now as Big Brother fans not to listen to a fucking word that man's, man says. Talks but, uh, shit. To be honest, I would be surprised if Emma stays on, especially with her b- boss. There's already talk that she's going to leave. I wouldn't be surprised, would you? Do you think if she does leave that Rylan would get the main job? Yeah. I mean, now she's got that wispy hair. <laughs> <laughs> wispy. I never even saw that. 
Oh, God. Are we on to the feedback? Um, yeah, we are. What about our things we're going to play? Do you want to do the pool by being on? You want to play them pool to none now? Let's do that one now, because we don't want to do two things next to each other. If you haven't listened to Dave Wall, the re- Ribena remix, listen on, because it's going to play <laughs> for you right now. She's taking the piss out of me, just to get me to react, to get the TV. She's taking the piss out of me. No, let's change it up, man. Have a Ribena. <laughs> That was way better than the first time I watched it. You know why it was better? Because we're drunk. (laughs) Also, Gemma makes that. Yeah, what? Go and get Paul out. Oh, yeah, that was good. Get Paul out. That's funny. And also, what's he going? She's jealous. What's she jealous about? (laughs) He's going to do something before there's a fight. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Paul was good. Yeah, big up. Follow Dave Wall on YouTube. Or Twitter, at Dave5Wall. He's only got 333 followers now. Wow. He deserves more than that. Well, we always shout out his shit, and what's he ever done for us? <laughs> Nothing. Sweet fuck off. <laughs> you got any feedback? Um, you start. Okay. I'll tell you what I have got, actually, which I did save for a mention. It's not really feedback, but Big Brother decided to release the voting percentages. Ooh, tell me, tell me. Sarah... Got 35.33% of the vote. Uh-huh. Amelia had 292 Okay. Uh, Sam, 14.80. Mm-hmm. Derek, 8.92. Mm. Chad, 5.48. Wow. Gemma, 4.83. Mm. Sean, mm. 0.72. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sean. I don't see why... I don't know that makes sense. 35% for, like, nearly 34% for Sarah over mm. 20... 29.92 for a media. It's quite a lead. Mm. Well, she's got that T-shirt. She's been persecuted. Been in this business 15 fucking years. <laughs> Come um, on, give us your feedback. Some of this is just, like, people complimenting me. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, Simmy at Shadow135 Simmy. It's not very catchy. Queen. She said... <laughs> You make me laugh. Agree or not, you're brilliant. Two kisses. I love Sarah. No clue why. <laughs> Thank you for your insight. Made my day. <laughs> Was that just like just not a, in reply or anything? Yeah, just a random... T- it might have been. What insight? No, it's not a reply. That's just what direct mean, what to insight? you. Everything I say is insightful. Hmm, that's what you think. <laughs> well, that's what she said. Um, Hang on. I need to have a drink before I do this feedback. <laughs> you want to stop? Yeah, just for one second. Is that all right? All right. Goating me. Goating me. Goating me. Have a right I'm going to. Okay, so I've got feedback from Laurie. I can't remember if I read this out last time, but well. Hey, Lindsay, so glad to read on your blog that you're on the mend and have to hopefully pod tomorrow. I wanted to slap Twitter out of Gaz's hand Wait. when he implied he needed a re- replacement for your next pod. Don't tell me you weren't tempted, Laurie. Gaz, no, lol. So your last blog needs a retyping of three hilarious phrases at the very least. Uh, What? My favourite gems from today. Derek defrauding grieving people. So true, it's awful. Why is there a fan base for this type of sham? Good point. (laughs) Prosecco. You like it. Prosecco and regret. Oh my God, this was hilarious. I don't remember that. Me neither. But that's how we're feeling right now. Uh, rubbing cock while wearing eye masks. What the fuck was that? How embarrassing. I can't believe you didn't even notice the eye masks at the time. <laughs> you said that you think that means they <laughs> they think that we can't see them. I agree. 
with myself. Laurie liked that. <laughs> Hi, Laurie. I think all those things that she's laughing at is your shit, <laughs> not my shit. Well, obviously. Um, people just like you for you your looks. Bitch. Like you for your looks, not your personality. Well, I just want the Instagram followers, so that's fine by me. What are you, Ellie? Yep. Ellie of Sheeny Bikini. <laughs> Ah, uh, oh, here is another one from Laurie. I'm so glad to hear you're going out on the town on Friday. Having the pod on Saturday sounds perfectly reasonable to me, but it probably means you'll be up late two nights in a row. No shit. It's fucking 20 past three in the morning, so yeah. Lindsay's fault. Take care of yourself after being so sick, please. I always look after myself very, very well. <laughs> <laughs> the, the pog stroke blood blog. Pog? Pogs? Pogs are back, everyone. <laughs> Slammers. That's retro. <laughs> Shiny pogs. Kini keeps. The pod stroke blog universe needs you. Who? Hey, just her or me too? <laughs> just me by the sounds of things. Reevaluate your loyalties, Laurie. I'm going to make one more comment about CBB following your pod. Chad's facial expression listens to that hideous song coming out with <laughs> Sarah's mouth. Cider Sarah. Was the best gift of the season. I made, Oi! I made that one. Fucking hell. You could actually see the wheels in his head spinning. What the fuck have I got on myself caught up in? I think she means Chad, not her. He looked gobsmacked. <laughs> <laughs> and she said pineapple at the start of that email. That was our last code word. Um, got anything from Facebook? No, because I'm too scared to look. We got messages from Crazy Ryan, but it's all about BB. Ryan is... BB not, he fancies you. Ryan said that he gets <laughs> a ONB, that's an out of nowhere boner, yeah. when we talk about my package. Ryan. Why don't you set up like one of them webcam things or something, a wish list? How do you know I already haven't? Well. Danica's wish list. <laughs> <laughs> so Dylan Austin at Unique Airstream. I still want to know. He what sounds like a, um, a porn star. <laughs> he says, I don't He's know got what. a little like cartoon character like Alfie Sheldon. Yeah, I've got cartoon character. He said, you sounded blacker than him with your raspy voice. Did he? Yeah, yeah, I think so. He said, I don't know what is going on here. Oh, if you want to learn more about Chad's mum, you should... Uh, it was him who told us about Chad's mum. Oh, thanks, Dylan. Mom, sorry. Mom. You should watch the season of Famously Single on E! On the show, he says he has a hard time dating women because he he had to give up his social life to care for his mum because she was ill. He also says ah. that's why he seems like a jerk. <laughs> it's a sad story. Why? But a part of me feels like he was trying to storyline. <laughs> That's good. So sad. Thanks so that. sad. Uh, what's that? Why can't we talk it over? <laughs> oh, and John. Um, also, we do get a few messages on Facebook by, from Luke Stammen. Mm-hmm. But I think it might be Stamen. <laughs> wow. Well. And uh, we had a, he had a discussion with us about, like, flannels. Oh, yeah. This might be a few weeks ago now. Mm. But we're talking about um, Trisha Paytas um, saying that she needed her washcloth to scrub her butt with. Yeah. And we were obviously referring, it to, referring to it as a flannel because yeah. that's what we call it. Yeah. But when you say flannel in America, they're thinking of flannel shirts, which are like checked shirts. We already said this on the last podcast. Did we? Yeah. Did we? Yeah, because someone after that podcast said to me, because you said you like to dry yourself with a flannel before yeah, you I use do. a towel. Yeah. Someone told me that was the weirdest thing they'd ever heard. Who told you that? Just Give me names. I another. Well, apparently um, in America they call a flannel a terry cloth. Hmm, that's that's what um, Luke Stammen had to say. Stammen? Thank Stammen? You. Thank Is that you, how you Luke. pronounce that name? Stammen. Stammen. Racist, mispronouncing people's names. Also, he sent us a load of stuff about BB19, but we're both avoiding it because yeah. we don't know what's going on there. Yeah, we will read out that stuff later. So- oh, also, about Luke Stammen, he thought that I was calling him out on the last podcast. He said, by the way, <laughs> I don't know if it was me you called out about the Panto thing, where you said, I can speak to them like that because they're not listening. Something you said to me, like, don't speak to them like that. Oh. But I listen to all three plus hours each pod, Gaz. I Aww. promise I'm not stupid. I just Aww. didn't get the connection. You weren't calling him out there, were you? I don't even remember saying it or calling anyone out. <laughs> I appreciate every listen, even if I'm being a bitch on the pod sometimes. I told you you're alienating our listeners. No, he said, lol, that makes it slightly even more satisfying. Never stop being bitchy. I said that you're like Big Brother quoting stuff back to me that I've forgotten even saying. Mm. <laughs> you, do, you do at the goat. <laughs> go to me and go to me and go to me. 
Rude. Have a Ribena. Very rude. Very, very rude.